Hello, this is Denton Yoder, CAD instructor for the BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering Civil 3D CAD class. Uh, today, we're going to convert a raw file from a Leica data collector um, to a fieldbook file to import it into our drawing as points. Uh, the process to do that, we're going to convert it to a temporary format in the middle called a TDS raw file. So we're going to go from a Leica to a TDS to a field book. Then we're going to edit it to fix it and import it. Okay. Um, if I have, uh, you'll find the GSI file on Scholar under Lab 14. And I'm going to go to the pull-down menus to survey data collector link. Data collector link is a really old program. If I hit about, yeah, 89 to 2003 is the copyright on this. This build is from January 2003, so 12 years ago. This tool was used in CAD years ago to connect two data collectors because in the old days we didn't actually have USB. Nowadays everybody uses USB or Bluetooth to connect to devices and copy data. But we used to actually download the data collectors through a serial port um, on the back of a PC right into CAD. We, we kind of skipped that. Nowadays, you download the data collector with its software directly to the computer. Okay, so we already have a GSI file. What we're going to do is use the conversion tools in here to convert the file format. Uh, it can convert coordinate files, raw files, and TDS archives. Raw file is what we're going to use. You go to the bottom of the list, there's a GSI raw file, and we can choose our file. I'm going to go to lab 14, grab our GSI file. Now, the output, it gives you no choices. It goes to TDS. Well, that's not really a surprise. This is TDS's software. They expect everything to go to TDS, but that's fine. Uh, we'll hit choose file, and I'm going to make a folder called Lab 14 on my desktop. Okay, inside Lab 14, you'll want to give it the name and you want to give it the extension. So this is Lab 14.rw5. You want to actually tell it that. Convert. Hey, successfully converted. Bingo. Now at the top, we want to go, instead of from a uh, Leica, we want to go to a TDS raw data RW5, choose file, and browse to where you just put that. Uh, mine's on the desktop, lab 14, RW5, and we're going to convert it to an Autodesk Softdesk FBK, Civil 3D actually came from a company called Softdesk, which was purchased by Autodesk. Uh, you want to hit the Choose File button. Don't assume it's going to put it where you want it. Tell it where you want to put it. And then when you type the name, I'm going to call mine Lab 14, put the dot FDK, enter. Now, when I do a convert, it says, hey, you're occupied, your backside point number, from occupy point is zero, you can't use that, you want to use one. Sure, whatever. Okay, it's done. We can close this, close this, and we're ready to import it. But it won't import. I'll save you the time. What we want to do now is we want to edit the file. So we have a field book file to look at. And it's got job information, units, EDM offset, scales, horizontal angle. Those are defaults. 
We need six setup files, six setup lines. The units was one of them. Um, in here, there's really just this azimuth. I'm going to make up some data. Yeah, I see that the first point number it really shoots is three, and it shoots it with an angle of zero. So I'm going to assume three is my backsight because the azimuth to it should be zero. So I'm going to make up a new point, NEZ, NEZ, um, call it point one, whatever. 5,000, 5,000, 100, and this is station first setup point. The azimuth from I'm going to delete their point numbers. The azimuth from 1 to 3 is almost 0. And I'm going to set up on this point I just made with a height of instrument 0. I'm going to set my prism to 0. And I'm going to back site number 3. So I have my units. Two, three, four, five, six. I have my six setup lines. Hopefully this makes sense. They weren't using point number one, so I just grabbed that. And I'm calling that our setup point. And I made up coordinates for it. I saw the first shot was an angle of zero, so I'm assuming that's my backside point. So I said the azimuth from one, from my current point, to point three, is the reading for my backside. Set up my station on that point one. The height of instrument is zero, prism is zero, backside three. If you had some credible data that had the height of instrument or the prism height, I'd love to have it, but I don't think they have it in the file. Now, looking through this file, I'll go down, 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 down. I'm just going to give you a heads up that somewhere in the 500s, it starts over with point 0.2 again. Well, you can't do that. So I'm going to add a 1,000 to all of them. To do that, I'm going to hold down alternate, and I'm in Notepad++, which will allow me to pick a spot right in front of the point number and I'm going to highlight points 2 through 9 and type in 100 in front of it, which in effect added 1,000 to all those points. I'm going to hold alternate and grab 10 down to 99 and put a 10 in front of it. And then I'm going to grab alternate and grab right in front of point 100, and drag to the bottom, wiggle on my mouse, it goes faster, and add a 1 in front of it. So I added a 1,000 to all their point numbers, so they are no longer duplicates of the first run. OK, now I still have a problem. They didn't give me any setup information for this second setup either. I see um, I see the last point they shot is three hundred and fifty feet away. And their backside point is 350 feet away. Um, but I actually know this data. I'm pretty sure that they stayed on station one and just backsided somewhere different. We can fix it if I'm wrong, but I'm going to say that they stayed on station one with a height of instrument of zero, 
and they now are back siding uh, 574, which was the last shot they made, which is really weird surveying, but let's see if it runs. I'm going to save this, close, go to CAD, import. Now, I'm going to make a new database, lab 14. Next, field book, desktop, lab 14, field book. Next, give me a network A. Next, I like the interactive graphics, but I'm going to turn them off because it runs faster without it. There is no line work in here, so ignore that. I do want survey points, though. Finish. It's reading the file. Interactive graphics would be more interesting because I would see something happening. I think it just finished. Updating my network. Done. Bada bing. I think I got it right.